Looking at this, they're exploring whether people who have recovered from COVID-19 could help those who still have it. Those who've recovered have antibodies in their plasma. Last week, the FDA began letting doctors use plasma from COVID-19 survivors as a Hail Mary to treat very ill patients with the virus. A top expert told the Washington Post this, convalescent plasma has a real role. This has been going on for more than 100 years. We know this stuff works. If you do this right and harvest plasma from someone who has undergone infection, you can get protective antibodies that can be infused in other people. That sounds very interesting. Dr. Nishwat, so it's not new. Will it work here? I hope so. I love this idea that it's been around for many, many years. So what you do is you have to have a patient that has been tested positive for COVID and is fully recovered. It usually takes a few weeks for antibodies to form, by the way. So you take their blood, you take the antibodies, you infuse it and inject it into a patient that's really sick, that's critically ill, suffering from, you know, COVID pneumonia. And when you inject it into their body, that virus is uh, eaten and engulfed by the antibodies to help reduce the load and to help get them feeling better and hopefully potentially save their lives. So I'm so excited about it. I know it's already underway here in New York, and I hope we will see improvement and that way other patients who are recovered from COVID will be able to potentially donate blood and save more lives. Doctor, I have a quick follow for you because we're reading how in some cases people are testing negative and you've got to get two in a row to say that you're cleared and maybe you're building antibodies that whole time from what you're saying it sounds like that must be the case but it may still live in you in other ways, like through your bodily fluids or stool or whatever. So when do you really stop the process such that that person yeah. is really recovered? That, that's a really good question. Usually, even after you test negative, it is still possible to shed viral particles. Um, and that's why we do want two negative tests, but you could still develop antibodies and those antibodies could still be okay. used. That's why we like to say patients, be at least fever free for two, three days, 100% symptom free. Wait a couple more days before you go back to work because we know that even though you're feeling better, you could still shed the virus usually for a few more days or even a few a few more weeks. But uh, we can't control it 100%, but at least we can put in those guidelines of 14 day quarantine, make sure you're 100% before you go back to work and engage um, in social you know, crowds and that sort of thing with other people. Gotcha.